for making Cebu Pacific a part of your important moment. Welcome to the Guys, Cross Vidal here, and welcome to another Matibibak travel guide. And this time, it's in Bali, my favorite country. So for this video, I will be sharing with you the most detailed everything you need to know in traveling to Bali. It's in traveling to and around Bali, where to stay, where to eat, what places to visit, budget, itinerary, everything. And guess what? Everything is within the fifteen thousand pesos budget. I repeat. 15,000 pesos only. Yep, it's possible, kaya stay tuned! Check-in counter situation. Ayan siya guys, medyo marami-raming tao, medyo mahaba ang pila. So again, you have to be early when you arrive in sure, in sure go in the airport. So ngayon, before anything else, you have to pay for the travel tax. So guys, take note, before going to the check-in counter, hi! You have to pay for your travel tax. Sa parang, ayan, may mga signs naman na, pay your travel tax. So before kayo pumila sa check-in counter, magbayad muna kayo ng travel tax. Or, second option, which is better, pwede na kayo magbayad through online kung nag-book kayo through Cebu Pacific. Very convenient, hindi nyo na kailangan pumunta sa ibang counter to pay for a travel tax. Travel tax costs 1,620 pesos per person. Economy na siya. And required siya guys to every traveler, Filipino traveler na alis ng bansa. Okay, so update. We're done with the immigration and we're now heading to our boarding gate. So immigration experience, iba siya compared nung last na immigration experience ko when I was going to Thailand. It just proves na talagang every person has their own experience pagdating sa immigration. So, sa akin, when I went to the immigration counter, ang tinanong sa akin is kailan ako babalik? Sino yung kasama ko? Then, if, if first time ko ba sa Bali or nakapag-Bali na ako, then, chinikan nyo na lang ako like, uy, ang ganda ng kulay mo. Ganon, yun lang. Time check, it's 12.53 a.m. and nakapag-check-in na kami, nakapag-background na kami. During the check-in, sobrang bilis lang, sobrang smooth lang kasi sa online, sobrang complicated ng list of requirements nila. So, ito yun. But when we were checking in, ang inas lang is passport and vaccination certificate which is from Baxter Beach. That's it. Sobrang simple lang. I'm not sure bakit sobrang complicated nung nasa online. And based sa friends ko na kaka-visit lang din ng Bali, same experience din. Vaccine, vaccine card, passport lang talaga yung minus. Touchdown Bali! <laughs> Wala pa kami tulog guys. First stop here in Bali Airport is I think this one. Health quarantine check. So this is the health quarantine check. Ang hinahanap ko naman pala sa'yo is ayan, the passport and yung vaccine mo. So next is visa. So for the Philippines guys, like I've said a while ago. Ayan. Where's that? Philippines. Yun number 49. You are visa non arrival, so meaning, wala tayong babayaran na visa once we arrive. And it's gonna be valid for 30 days. So, diretso na kaming immigration. My first tipid tips. Ano mari, iinom kayo here sa Bali. Balak yung mag-party, ganyan, ganyan. Mahal ang alak here. So, what we decided is bumili kami sa Pinas. Dinala namin dito. But take note, guys. Ang limit here is 1 liter per person only ang alcohol. So again, ang pwede mo nang manadala is 1 liter per person na alak. So after the customs, makikita nyo na dito yung bunch of banks na pwede kayong mag-withdraw. For me, guys, I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Comment down below. For the past travels dito sa Bali, lagi lang ako nag-withdraw. Hindi ako nag-money exchange from... Philippine peso to IDR kasi parang feel ko ang baba ng palitan. So, mag-withdraw na lang ako. And as per my research, mat mas okay yung exchange rate. And minimal lang naman yung ATM charge. One of the best banks, BNI. Dito lang yan, guys. Paglabas mo sa customs, makikita mo na yung BNI. 
nag-withdraw ko 1 million. Pakita ko na lang kung magkano yung exchange rate here. Ayan. Okay, so katapat lang ng BNI or katabi lang ng BNI is yung SIM cards. Ayan. So may XL Axiata and may Telcomcel. Been availing this one, Telcomcel. Ang pinakamura is 250k. That is 1,000 pesos for 18 gig. We're done with everything and we're leaving the airport. Finally! Finally, yeah. airport transfers. There are three options para makauwi ka, makapunta ka sa accommodation mo. First is if you want it convenient, you can book a driver. Driver costs around 300k to 400-500k, depende sa location mo per car. So pag four kayo mas mahakatipid kayo. Second option is book a Grab or Gojek. So guys, recommended ko talaga na mag-download kayo ng Grab app at Gojek app. So, both of them can be used. Mag-compare na lang kayo ng prices. So, ang kas gaming kami, guys. Though, ito lang naman kasi dala namin. So, mas makakatipid kami. So, our cost going to the airport via grab bike is just 45k. Diba? Sobrang mura. So, the catch of nag... Pag nag... Nag mumura. Pag nag... Titipid ka, guys. Ang catch is... You have All this to for walk the pick up. from there. As you can see, that's the airport over there. Over to here. Because ang grab bikes, or I'm not sure if bikes in general, are not allowed to park inside the airport. This is the cost of pagtitipid. But if okay lang naman sa inyo, then why not, di ba? Laka din ang natipid mo. So before I continue our journey around Bali, I would like to give you an overview of Bali and everything you need to know, the basic ones, about this humble paradise. This is the map of Bali. Move ako dito. Ayan, this is the map of Bali. It looks small, pero malaki yan, guys. May mga areas, as you can see, and every area has its own charm. So talagang, you need to know what area you want to stay and what area you want to explore. Hindi mo yan mapupuntahan lahat if 4 days, 3 nights ka lang. Unless, mag one man ka local yard. So again, this is the map. This is a short overview of each area. So ang favorite ko guys, Uluwatu. Kasi, ewan ko, medyo Siargao vibe kasi siya. And I'm more on chill. And hindi masyadong touristy. But usual tourist areas are Semenyak, Changgu, Uluwatu, Ubud. And the rest ng areas, usually parang mga day trips lang yan or two days, short trips lang. For the weather, it's somewhat similar. It's actually very similar as the Philippines. Tulad ng Pilipinas, it's summer and rainy season lang. So, ito yung pwede nyong pag based on your travel date. So, make sure you pack the right clothes based on your travel month on this table. So for the currency, it's IDR, Indonesian Rupiah. As of this video, 1 peso, ayan, sinurge ko sa Google, is equivalent to 260 IDR. So search na lang din sa Google, guys, kung magkano yung current to conversion based sa travel period nyo. Hmm. So yeah, let's move on. So handa na ba tayo sa 15,000 peso budget challenge in Bali? So take note, guys, and considering your budget, depende rin yan sa taong nagta-travel. We have different ways of traveling. Merong super budgeted, my comfortable budgeted, my luxury. And depende rin yan guys sa tagal ng pagtatravelan mo sa Bali. May mga iba nagwa one week, two weeks. But usual period, travel period ng mga tourists is actually four days, three nights or five days, four nights. But for this video, I'm gonna be giving you an itinerary na four days, three nights. Let's go! Finally arrived in our accommodation. Oh my god, guys, sobrang ganda niya. We booked our place again here in Uluwatu because actually guys, like sinabi ko kanina, diba, maraming mga areas sa Bali and for this trip sa Uluwatu kami magsistay and we booked our accommodation through Airbnb. 1,700 lang siya guys. Oh my goodness. San madadala ang 1,700 pesos mo per night? So kung dalawa kayo, that's around 7, uh, 750 pesos. 800, oh, 850 pesos. 850 pesos lang and may pool ka na. Ayan, that's the reception area na walang receptionist. This is our villa. Villa or room. We're on room 6. Giving you a quick room tour. Ayan siya. Wow. 
Mm, bango. So we have a queen size bed. Here natin po. Ay, oh my god, spring bed. Hello. Hello. Kita mo na bounce ako. Nagbounce ako na bongga, spring bed. Hello. Hello. Pool view, guys. Then this is ayan, meron pang pa cabinet. Ito yung Ay, wow. Wow. Saan magdadala ng 1,700 pesos mo, girl? Grabe. Great! Powerful ang banyo! So, 1,700 pesos per night. And we booked a four-night trip. Four-night kasi early check-in kami today. So, gusto namin na pagka-check-in namin. Ay, pagka dating namin sa airport, may room na. So, counted na yung night last night. So, four nights. So, that's around 6,900 pesos for the two of us. Per person, that's 3,000 something else. Oh, diba? Sobrang mura. Okay, guys. For the next part of this video is where to stay in Bali. So, as you can see kanina, I gave you a, a quick room tour of our accommodation in Bali. It's 1,700 per person. Ay, per person. Per night. Dito kami sa Uluwatu area. So, mentioned... I mentioned a while ago, earlier in this video, na may mga different areas here in Bali. So, malaki siya. Ayan yung mapa. And depende rin sa inyo kung saan nyo gusto magstay. So, kami, we decided in the Uluwatu area. Next thing to consider if you're gonna book your hotel is what type of accommodation you want to book. Is it budget-friendly, mid-budget, or luxury? So, kami, we're on the mid-budget. Dito kami sa mga, mga 1,500, 2,500 budget. Here's a quick overview ng parang price ranges per type of accommodation that you may prefer. So, ayan siya, guys. Ayan. So, different areas na rin to ng Bali. So, nasa inyo na yun kung gusto nyo sa Changu ba or sa Uluwato and kung gusto nyo ba ng luxury or super budget, kayo na bahala. Ayan. So, screenshot. As mentioned, guys, dito kami sa Uluwato magsistay during our whole um, Bali trip. And again, another thing to consider if you're gonna book an accommodation in Uluwato, for example, is kung saan mismo sa Uluwato. Kasi, of course, Uluwato is also a big area here in Bali. And, ayan siya, guys. Ayan yung Uluwato. There's two parts in Uluwato for me, ha. Um, itong part na to, dito yung maraming mga beaches, beach clubs, etc. So, if you prefer na mag-beach clubs during your stay here in Uluwatu, this is the perfect area in Uluwatu to stay. Ditong part na to is busier part of Uluwatu. Dito yung mga mararaming restaurants, cafes, and dito din usually nagsiserve yung mga tao. Bet nyo yung ganong lifestyle, book your stay here in this area. So, another option, guys, if gusto nyo magtipid sa accommodation nyo, ano nga to? Pikatu Bali Residence. Ayan. So, simple, simple lang naman siya. Basic. Merong two double beds. Two double beds. Spring bed pa to mga B. Tapos, ayan. May pa TV. Um, study table. Ayan. Basic lang siya, guys. Actually. Really basic. This is the bathroom. The bathroom. And it only cost 600 pesos per night. And it's already good for two persons. Okay guys, so isa sa mga tipid tips din if you're traveling with friends is book an Airbnb villa na good for, yun nga, kung ilan kayo, for example, three bedrooms, tapos six kayo, maka, mas makakatipid kayo. So now, we actually booked an Airbnb, kararating ko lang guys, medyo pagod-pagod. Um, we actually booked an Airbnb, three bedrooms siya, three floors, and we're currently mga eight packs na nagta-travel. And, ayan siya. This villa cost 10,000 pesos per night. And 8 kami magsishare. So, do the math. Tipid ka na per night, di ba? So, as you can see, ayan. 3-bedroom villa siya. This is Hill Top Uluwatu Villa. 3 bedrooms, 3-story. Ang ganda. As you can see. My small pool. Very aesthetic. We have a full-size kitchen there. We have a dining table. Pakita ko sa inyo. Sorry, ha. Medyo naglaba kasi kami kanina. Ayan, may sala. May aircon sa loob. Hello! Ayan yung mga travel friends ko. May dining area. May chilling area. May mga TV each room. So, dito pala ang very aesthetic na. ba? May pa bamboo. So, this is room number one. Tadang! It's very huge and aesthetic. Ayan. 
Again, merong television, merong pa closet over here. Then, ayan siya. Our second bedroom is actually connected. May door sa labas, meron dun here. The two bedrooms have their common CR. Ayan din yung room pa, second bedroom. This is the second bedroom. Ayan yung luggage ko. Same setup as the first bedroom. Sayang wala na masyadong light. Pag may light, actually, mas maa-appreciate ko siya. Ayan na. Tada! Oh my God. Ang ganda. Then, the bathroom. Perfect! Hi! Ang itim ko na. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, where to eat? So, kami ni Jamie, we're more on leaning into trying local food. Like this. Ayan. Maliban sa makakamura ka, guys. Kasi sobrang mura ng mga warung or local food here in Bali. Sobrang sarap nila. I'm not sure with you guys. Pero pili kasi, like, hindi lahat ng mga peeps nabebetan ang local Indonesian food. But for me, it's super good. Right now, we're here in Babi Guling. Warung Babi Guling. So, ang Babi Guling is lechon. As you can see here, ayan. Ayan lang siya. Ganito lang kasi simple yung parang local restaurants nila here. And this is the look of our food. Guys, 40,000 only. And ang dami niya ng types of babi food. Another Warong Hits. I'm here in Warong Jago. And makikita mo yung prices per meal nila. Ayan, I ordered babi kekap. So babi is I think pig huh? or pork. So, ayan siya. take out ko guys kasi sa bahay ko na lang kakain. Can I see? Wow! For early dinner and one of the warungs here in Uluwatu, like I've said, if gusto nyong magtipid, warung is the key. So again, warung is parang karinderya ng mga or local eateries here in um, Bali. Currently, we are here in warung Sinena. Along the road lang siya. And ang ganda lang ng vibe niya kasi parang classy na warung. As you can hear, may pa o oh, fine dining na music pad. So, ganito yung setup ng warong, guys. May mga different ulams. So, pili-pili ka lang. So, how much is it? Tapos, kung so makamura, ayan, 5%. This is good. Can I do this? So, guys, how much? 38. Okay, so, from 41,000 to 38,000 kasi nagpost ako sa stories nila tayo sa makakatipid tayo. So, there's 5% discount if we're gonna tag them on Instagram. <laughs> Other local food that we are trying! Satay! Sobrang obsessed si Jamie. Ito. So, this cost 15k. Yeah. 15k. And, and dami niya na, guys. 10 pieces siya. Pula na lang rice. So, diba? 15k only for our dinner. Tapos, share na kami kasi nga marami. So, continuing this part na kung saan pwedeng kumain around Bali, I'm gonna be showing you, ayan, a list of restaurant price ranges around Bali depending on what type of traveler ka. Ayan siya, screenshot yun na lang guys. I'll be sharing with you some of my highly recommended places to eat around Bali. Ayan, tried and tested na yan. What I did guys is actually just Google everything. If hindi nyo bet mga recommendations ko, you can just Google. Sobrang dali lang. As simple as where to eat near me, restaurants near me, cafe near me. Then, once you click the search button, meron ng maraming, ayan, this is a sample. Maraming options na pwede nyong pagpilian. And makikita nyo na rin kung ilang star review siya, ilan yung nag-review. Kita nyo rin sa, sa mga photos kung bet nyo ba yung vibe niya. Ganun. And now, let's move on on how to get around Bali. So, usually, ako, personally, nagmo-motorbike lang ako since sanay naman na ako sa Siargao. So, yun yung usually na ginagawa ko if I go around Bali. But, of course, iba-iba din tayo. So, this is the list of the options that you have in getting around Bali. So, you can rent a motorbike. Depende yan sa area. In Uluwato, it's 100k per day. In Changu, I think it's around 75k per day. Correct me if I'm wrong. Take note guys, um, motorbike gas for 1 liter is 70,000 rupiah. So, nagpagas ako 2 liters, we're gonna pay 34k. 
for the bike class. You can also book Grab. Mas safe as yun. Grab or Gojek. You have to download the app. Ito mga apps na to. Very useful yan. Based on my experience, madalas na mas mura yung Gojek. But there are also times na mas mura si Grab. So just try both of them. Wala namang mawawala. At mas makakatipid ka pa kung you, know, you will compare both of them. Prices are so cheap. Ayan yung list. Actually, a sample of my pamasahe and Gojek and getting around. Yeah, my option na pwedeng car, pwedeng motorbike, pwedeng large car. So, kayo bahala on your liking. Next option is hiring a private driver. So, you can actually contact this person, si Kuya Puto. She tried him a few times during my Bali trip two months ago. And okay siya. Sobrang maalaga niya. His basic price is around 300k if hatid sundo lang. Minsan 500k pag medyo malayo. And depende rin, tumataas din siya to 700k if mas malayo yung mga places na pupuntahan mo. Pwede nyo rin siya gamitin as a driver if you wanna do a DIY tour around Bali. Hey guys! So, let's now move on to places to visit, things to do here in Bali activities, tours, etc. So, it's our first day here in Bali and hindi muna kami nag-avail ng tours but what we did is we just went to one of the beach clubs here in Uluwato kasi itong si Uluwato guys this is known for a lot of beach clubs kasi sobrang daming beach club dito and one of the best ones is it of Sunday ayan so again guys, depende yan sa preference nyo kung gusto nyong magtipid or kung gusto nyong maging maluho for a while Diba? Kas kami, tagtipid kami for this trip. But for this day, medyo mag-all out kami. So what we did is, yan nga, pumunta kami dito Sunday. And the entrance fee is 450000 Pero, ang 250000 from it is actually consumable. So we have here our food. Ayan, ang bumi ko. Malaking serving siya. Food is good. I mean, 7 over 10. Kung tagtipid kayo, then I suggest na wag muna kayo mag-beach club. Or there are actually... Some beach clubs here in Uluwatu that has minimal entrance fees like this. This suggestions right here. This is the look of Sunday. This is just one part of Sunday, but actually malaki siya. This is a restaurant over here. Here, tapos nung pababa kami, meron kami sinakyan na parang cable car. So ito yun. O oh, ba Ang cute. Beach is over there. Take note guys, may mga activities sila na available for free if you avail their entrance fee. There's kayaks, um, paddleboard, yeah, etc. But depending daw yon sa tide. Then, during the night, like 5pm, meron silang parang pa bonfire. So, if you wanna check that out, make sure that you have to be here before 5pm. Then, every weekend, meron din silang parang live music. After the beach club, you can actually visit Padang Padang Beach. Isa to sa mga parang sikat na beaches here in Uluwatu. Tapos, if you're bringing your own bike, ang parking lot is 1,000. So, entrance fee here in Padang Padang Beach is 15k. Itong Padang Padang Beach, sa baba siya. Mag-hike down na naman. Mag-stairs na naman tayo pa baba, mga besh. So, parang may a secret entrance over here. Wow! So, it's a few steps down lang naman. Wow! Wow, we can see the beach na. Ayan yung mga nagsaserve. Hindi ba? Cute. This is the vibe. Ayan, good morning, Bali. Day 2. So, for today's activity, we booked a tour going to Nusa Pinida, guys. So, hindi pa ako naliligo actually. Kagigising ko lang and na-excite na mag-vlog. So, Nusa Pinida, guys, isa to sa mga super must visit tagaling ko man na to guys must visit place here in Bali this is actually one of my favorite tours here in Bali I've been in Bali for how long now and itong Nusa Pinida inuulit-ulit-ulit ko talaga siya as in kasi the best siya sobrang worth it niya very breathtaking yung mga landscapes doon nakakapagod on the side so we booked our tour via KK Day or Cloak actually same lang halos sila Ang inclusion, same lang yung price, halos same lang din. And it already includes everything. Pick up and drop off from your accommodation. Full tour. Yeah, let's go! Grabe nakakahilo yung boat ride. So from the port to Nusa Penida, that's 30 minutes guys. If you wanna do DIY from Bali to Nusa Penida, madali lang actually. You can just book a grab. Grab bike if solo ka lang. 
going to Sanor Port. So it would probably cost, if you're from Changi, less than 50k. So less than 200 pesos. Then when you're in Sanor, you can just buy a ticket. In their ticket um, ticket counter, ito yung schedule ng mga boat trips. So make sure na you are in the port before your preferred schedule. Then just buy a ticket. It would just cost around 100,000, which is around 350 pesos. Then, ihahatid ka na dito sa port na to. So once you're here in the port, you can just hire a motorbike or just grab a driver here. Maraming mga drivers na available for hire, which is gonna be less costly than booking a tour. But if you want to be hassle-free, of course, just book a tour. Okay guys, so pauwi na kami going back to Bali. So our Nusa Pinita trip is done. Sobrang worth it, sobrang saya, sobrang nakakapagod din. So what we did was we first went to, ayan, photos papakita ko guys. We went to Angels Billabong. Ayan, look at that view. Super nice. Second is close to Angels Billabong is Broken Beach. Ayan siya. Then, this is yung malayo. We traveled 40 minutes. So, lunch muna kami. Then, we traveled 40 minutes going to Killing Kings, the most famous, iconic attraction in Musa Pinitas. So, yung mga pictures namin. And I also want to share some videos to you so you can see how beautiful Killing King Beach is. Sobrang ito yung pinaka-favorite ko talaga sa Lusa Pinita. Ang daming times ko nang pinuntahan to. Pero up until now, hindi pa rin ako nagsasawa. Okay! Supposedly, after that part a while ago, day 3 na tayo, guys. Pero, she, nakurop yung mga videos ko nung day 3 kasi gamit, iba yung gamit kong camera. And, <laughs> tsaka yung memory card. So, basta, to make the story short, hindi ko ma-share sa inyo visually yung day 3 namin. But, I'm gonna really try my best for you to at least imagine what happened during our day 3. So, day 3 is basically dedicated for this tour. Ayan, Instagram tour. Itong Instagram tour na to, parang summary na siya ng mga most top places or attractions around the Bali. Sa mga travelers or tourists, in Bali, na limited yung time, like for example, for this vlog na 4 days, 3 nights lang, this is the perfect tour for you kasi it will hit a lot of areas in Bali. Upon my research, may dalawang agency na top agency na nag-offer ng Bali Instagram tour, Klook and KK Day. As you can see, mas mura si Klook, but mas maraming places to visit si KK Day. So for KK Day, this is the itinerary. Ayan, meron siyang beautiful views of Mount Agong and Tirta Ganga. Kasama na rin yung lunch and jungle swing here. But for Klook, hindi kasama yung mga attractions na yun and hindi rin kasama yung jungle swing and lunch. So, mas sulit si KK Day on this side. Moving forward, guys, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga pictures na natake ko before, not during this trip because all the photos that I took during this trip, during this tour, we're all corrupted. Nakakaloka. Sobrang frustrating. Comment down below if na experience niya din to. Nakakaloka. Part of the itinerary is Gates of Heaven. Guys, take note. Sobrang haba ng pila for this photo. So, prepare yourself. Prepare your patience sa pagpila for you to be able to get this shot. Then, Tirta Ganga as well. It, it was my first time during this tour. So, ito lang yung sample photo from the internet. Tukad Kepong Waterfall as well. This is from Google. Ayan. Tagalalang Rice Terraces. Very breathtaking. Part of this area, nandito na rin yung local Balinese coffee plantation. Ayan kami guys, nagtatry ng coffee nila. Free yan actually. Then the jungle swing. This is the jungle swing. This was taken a long time ago. So basically, the whole tour guys, sobrang provided na lahat. Pagkain, entrance fees, hatid sundo. And again, mahihit mo na yung mga nakikita nyo usually sa Instagram about Bali. So now, I'm gonna be ending this vlog. It's more than 30 minutes tinapos nyo. And I hope this video is very helpful for every one of you. So for the itinerary, I'm gonna be posting it here with the expenses and all the details that I can provide in this table. This one. Ayan, screenshot nyo na lang. And budget has been achieved. O, ba? Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video. Korea vlog soon naman. Ay!